Hey, welcome back to Landscape Alert, where this week we are going to be recreating the landscape design for Disney's Encanto, specifically the house. La Casita, uh, where this movie focuses about the actual house and the people that live there in the village. Anyways, um, one of the things I should mention here is that because this is an animated movie, the laws of physics really don't seem to apply. And if you've seen the movie or you're about to do the movie, you'll definitely notice that. So that meant that I kind of had to put in some of the measurements I think would fit for a house, um, at least something that would stay more within the laws of physics. Anyways, uh, I started recreating the house, um, putting some measurements I think would work for this house. Obviously, the movie goes up and down and everything is a little um, all over the place, but you understand what I'm trying to say here, right? I think so. Uh, one of the things that I should point out here is that uh, being in the area where at least the movie set in, which is in Colombia, there's going to be a lot of vegetation, which you can definitely see from the little intro that I put at the beginning of the video. I mean, it is very green, which allows for a lot of things to grow there, a lot of awesome things to grow there, uh, including trees, shrubs, uh, palm trees, and all kinds of cool stuff. Now, I am not going to, you know, detail every single thing that may be uh, boring. I don't know if it is, though. Please tell me in the comments if you guys want me to explain everything or if you prefer just to see the actual design process, at least the one that I use uh, for this, this videos. Now, one thing I should say as far as the things that I've seen that I think are great and if you have the chance to use them as far as the trees and shrubs and all that good stuff are the following. Now, there is many different kinds of palm trees, uh, coconut trees, some plantain trees, um, and many more stuff. So if you're thinking, hey, what if I want to get some of those? You definitely can if you live in areas where this kind of trees will thrive. But if you can, hey, use some azaleas. Those are the cool pink like uh, flowers that are growing next to the house very beautiful in my opinion. Uh, maybe some uh, quarter lines, uh, maybe some um, red fan palms, uh, potentially uh, some lipstick uh, palm trees. Um, also, maybe think if you are able to put some hibiscus, those will look great. In fact, I think there is some in between that creek and that pathway. Pathway, by the way, I believe it's like some sort of, uh, looks like a paver sort of style, but it most likely is like just stone that they kind of put there. Looks great, by the way. Um, and then obviously there's uh, many other kinds of palm trees that you can use, maybe like an Alexander palm and also a cast iron plant. So that's kind of what i've noticed again there's much more stuff but if you love the movie enjoyed it and kind of notice other stuff put it down in the comments that way others can also see what was there stop a lot of stuff that i missed but that's kind of what i noticed anyways i'm going to stop talking i'm going to let you guys enjoy the rest of the video let me know with your comments if you want me to keep doing this, if I should maybe add something to the videos or what else I should talk about. Anyways, don't forget to do all that, you know, YouTube stuff that YouTubers ask you for. Subscribe, likes, all that good stuff. That does uh, help the channel to grow. Um, don't forget the motto though, uh, dream design create. Anyways, enjoy the video.